Hi, this video tutorial I will cover method overriding. Here you can see bank class, it provides a functionality to get the rate of interest. So here you can see get rate of interest method and it returns 5. But rate of interest varies according to the banks. For example, HDFC bank can provide rate of interest as 10%. ICICI bank can provide rate of interest as 8%. So here you can see class HDFC which extends bank class and override the get rate of interest method and returns 10. So here HDFC is a child class and bank is a super class and HDFC subclass override the get rate of interest method. So this is the example of overriding. Here you can see class ICICA which extends bank class and override get rate of interest method and returns 8. So ICICA bank is a subclass and bank is a super class and ICICA subclass override get rate of interest method. So this is the example of overriding. Here I have declared bank class. It has a get rate of interest method and it returns 5. Here I have defined class HDFC which extends bank class and override get rate of interest method and returns 10. Here I have declared ICICA class which extends bank class and override get rate of interest method and returns 8. Here I have declared method override test and it has main method. I am running this program in uh, debug mode. Here uh, bank reference points to HDFC object. And using bank reference, I am calling uh, get rate of interest method. So now uh, bank reference points to HDFC object. So it will call uh, get rate of interest method of uh, HDFC object. And here you can see the output. Now uh, bank reference points to ICICA object. And uh, using bank reference, I am calling uh, get rate of interest method. Now bank reference points to ICICA object. So it will call uh, get rate of interest method of uh, ICICA object. Here you can see the output and this is about method overriding and thanks for watching.